and I'm drinking the tea and I'm spilling more tea. Mm. First off, I want to say that I'm a big Shane Dawson fan. Like if Homeboy came over and he was like, I want a rub and tug, I would give him a rub and tug. Wait, no question about it. what's a rub and tug? A rub and tug is when you rub someone's head and tug them into bed. Tuck them into bed? Tug, yeah. Tug them into bed. Tug. 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 I was watching Shane's 8E Park documentary series on Jake Paul, and I noticed that towards the end of part two, he said he was feeling depressed. I like stay up all night and I'm just lost. Why am I so lost? If I can help all these people, why can't I help myself? Why am I still depressed? And I was like, oh my God, that'd actually be a really interesting documentary. Like what does someone like Shane Dawson go through when he thinks of all these documentaries to make? Like surely he's going through stuff himself. And then he said this. I look at my channel and I'm like, oh, the more I'm helping people, the worse I'm getting. I wanna make the documentary. I wanna be behind the camera asking those tough questions. What it's like to be the king of YouTube, but, but still be depressed despite helping other white people. Did you say white people? Yeah, white people. White people? He's made videos on Jake Paul, Jeffree Star, Tana Mango, Graveyard Girl, Kathy Griffin, Bobby, Molly, Trisha, Sophie. Videos taking care of a child, a white child, then a baby, a white baby. Don't you want to be a woke gay couple? He has the prettiest blue eyes. Oh my god, good. Thank god. <laughs> Adopt a Mexican baby. I can be a baby. Even the people in his videos that aren't the focus of the video are still straight up my own essa. Do you think if he helped a person of color, he'll be happier? I'm not sure, but damn it, we can find out. You know, at first when I was writing this video, I wasn't sure if any other people noticed that he kind of likes to cater to white people. Then I searched Twitter, Shane Dawson White, you know, as you do, and found out that some people are actually quite mad about it. I will film Shane Dawson struggling to find those non-cracker YouTubers. <laughs> Could be game changing, man, for real. Sleep on it. All right, and that's my pitch to Mr. Dawson and why we should be working together. Thanks for listening. Now let's find a minority in need and help them. Oh, come on, the guy bought one of his haters a car. It was worth a shot. <laughs> that looks like two fucking straight up sociopaths planning their next move. Oh, the caption. Let's go. <gasps> the caption. <laughs> Is he joking? PewDiePie went on to call Shane Dawson's part two a bad video. <gasps> Shane Dawson responded with this. Oh. Ah! Oh. Shane. Oh, oh. It's a joke, but the tea would be so hot. Shane Dawson contra PewDiePie. <sighs> Hello, anyone else? People criticize Shane Dawson for milking this series, but milking is kind of his thing. Le gusta la leche. Yeah, eight videos seems a little extra for the series, but what about Graveyard Girl series? That was seven parts. People just didn't complain because for her, she wasn't introduced until the last three parts of the whole series because people didn't even know it was gonna be about her. So one of my favorite YouTubers I've been watching for years lives near the Houston area and her name is Graveyard Girl. So I think that's where the real criticism lies in, the thumbnails and the titles. You know, I, I think that Shane Dawson took a big risk by using Jake Paul's name throughout the entire thing, just writing it out, you know? Even though he wanted to learn about sociopaths, which which leads me to believe that it, like, it has something to do with him getting screwed over in his past. Like he, he started off curious and then wanted to like find an example on YouTube, you know? I think that's kind of what drove him because he seems to have like a very personal connection with his entire topic. His typical style is like that weird over the top dramatic stuff, you know? And people are judging him for that, but all his videos have been like that. He just happened to tackle really big fish this time. And he's hugging it tight. I'm sorry if, if anybody was offended. Not that Shane needs my seal of approval, but he's a great dude. I met him a few times and I'm an empath and you know, us empaths, we can just feel it. Especially when we rub and tug. And yeah, he's doing videos on some problematic white people, but who cares? Let the guy be, you know? He may not be your woke king, but he didn't sign up to be your woke king. He used to do eating videos and comedy sketches. I was into the comedy sketches growing up. The eating videos kind of lost me, so this is a good change for me. These documentaries are like really entertaining stuff for YouTube. It's kind of cool doing a commentary video on a YouTuber I actually like. Uh, and I want to emphasize that Shane doesn't have to do any videos on any brown people or whatever, you know? I just thought it'd be a cool suggestion to put him in, a little, in his little box, you know? Have you guys been keeping up? What are your thoughts on the series? I thought that part one was, you know, a great intro to who Jake Paul is. And then part two was, part two? Part three was, Kind of like part one again, but exposing more of how weird the dad is. And then part four, mm, that's where the tea starts coming in. And I think that it's only gonna get better from here, boys. 
I think that it only gonna get better from here. Is anybody having viewing parties for Shane Dawson's videos? Cause dang it, you know, I'm gonna have some with my Patreon supporters. We're gonna watch it all together. Cause I, I actually love this. I love the re whole reality TV weird aspect he adds to it, you know? Cause I grew up on that stuff. Flavor of Love, Rock of Love, Shana Tila Tequila. <laughs> so I love his style. I, I love that he took on that reality TV style and put it into YouTube, man. I'm all about it. Shane Dawson, feed it to Papi. All right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and we'll see you next week. <laughs> Cheers. Rub someone's head and tug them into bed. Tuck them into bed? Tug, yeah, tug them into bed. Tuck. Tug. 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 tug.